Alrighty, everyone. We are back in Emerald City Confidential. Whoa. Oh, the audio just popped right in there. Um, so we're here in the university, and uh, we can now get ac we now have access to the pill machine. So I'm just gonna go and like, hey, Doc Professor Vogelbog. Hello, me Professor. Yes, yes. What do you want? Give me everything. Give me everything. About your machine. Yes. I'd like a knowledge pill. Cutter gave you permission, so it seems you are allowed. It's against my judgment, but you seem capable enough. Go yes. over and use the machine whenever you wish. Thank you. Let's talk about... Alright. Thanks. Good evening. How do I use this machine? Simply face the machine and say, I desire knowledge. You're pulling my leg. I am pulling nothing. You receive no knowledge unless you ask for it. Fine. Here goes. I desire knowledge. Uh, people. Dorothy Give Gale. me the public record of Dorothy Gale. I'm gonna go with everything. Alright, Dorothy Gale, a known companion of the Scarecrow, the Tin Woodman, and the Lion. Dorothy Gale came to Oz over 40 years ago via a magic storm. Little is known of her adventures, but in the process, she destroyed the Eastern and Western witches, both of whom were known to be cruel and tyrannical. Hailed as a hero, Dorothy's only wish was to return home. Her wish was granted, but fate brought young Dorothy to Oz again and again. Eventually, Dorothy decided to stay and live in Oz. Currently, Dorothy lives in the Royal Palace and is a good friend of Queen Ozma. <laughs> Give me the public record of the lion. I'm gonna go for all the bills. The lion, a known companion of Dorothy Gale, the scarecrow, and a tin woodman. The lion ruled the forests of, the, of Quadling country for several years before earning his law degree at the Royal University. The lion is without peer in his field, though few can afford his services. Give me the public record of the Fanphasms. <laughs> the Fanphasm War. Far over the eastern desert and the Nonestic Ocean lies the Isle of Fan Fanfastico, home of the Fanfasms. Physically, they resemble humans in every respect, aside from the head. They each have the head of a ferocious animal. Possessing cruel intentions and even crueler magic, the Fanfasms waged war on Oz twenty years ago. They were aided by Ruggedo, the Gnome King. The Ozian forces were victorious, but are constantly alert for another attack. The ruler of the Fanfasms is known as the First and Foremost. Whether this is a title or a name is uncertain. <laughs> Give me the public record of Queen Ozma. <laughs> Queen Ozma. Ozma is a direct descendant of the goddess Lurleen and the true ruler of Oz. <laughs> We're gonna swallow every single pill there is, I'm just telling you. Give me the public record of General Ginger. Ooh, General Ginger. During the Scarecrow's reign, a small army of women invaded the royal palace. This army was commanded by a woman named Ginger. The revolt was a success, but short-lived. Ginger was soon forced to leave the palace by Ozma, who was unanimously declared the rightful ruler of Oz. Unable to fight against the growing public opinion, she left the Emerald City in disgrace, not daring to show her face again. She married and lived a miserable existence as a housewife until boredom forced her out of both her house and marriage. With no place left to go, she pleaded with Ozma to join her royal guard. Ozma, seeing the change in Ginger's heart, accepted. Ginger did not disappoint. She quickly rose through the chain of command, finally attaining the rank of general. The entire royal army is at her command, and she deploys it diligently and efficiently. Cool. Ooh, Give TikTok. me the public record of TikTok. I like how angry Petra sounds all the time. Like, public record of TikTok. <laughs> like, 
chill. <laughs> TikTok, a clockwork soldier made out of bright shiny copper. He was manufactured in the kingdom of Ev, but made his way to Oz, which quickly became his home. He joined the royal guard, where he has proven to be the perfect soldier. While stiff and a stickler for procedure, he has an exceptional memory and is a one-man army practically by himself, provided he is kept wound up. People are usually one people armies by themselves, that's the point of being a one-man army. Like... Give me the public <clears throat> record of the Wizard of Oz. I would like the public record of Professor Wugglebug. Lol. That would be funny though. The Wizard of Oz. A funny little man from another world. He came to Oz during a simpler time in our history, and his strange clothes and interesting magic tricks convinced the peasants of the time that he was a great wizard. Taking advantage of his newfound celebrity, the newly dubbed wizard founded the Emerald City and brought the four countries together under one banner. He ruled Oz for many years until he abdicated in favor of the Scarecrow and left Oz. Eventually, it became known that the wizard wasn't a wizard after all, and his powerful magic was merely elaborate parlor tricks. Even so, it cannot be denied that the wizard did many great things for the kingdom. It wasn't long before the wizard returned to Oz. To make up for his humbug ways, he apprenticed himself to Glinda in order to learn real magic. It wasn't long before he was a true wizard in his own right. Since the fan phasm war, the wizard left the public eye. His current whereabouts are unknown. We have the last people thing is Glinda. Give me the public record of Glinda, the Witch of the South. Swallow the pill now. <laughs> Glinda was the Witch of the South. She was considered the ultimate authority on Aussian lore and magic. <clears throat> owning an extensive library that rivaled even the Royal University. With a great knowledge came great magic. She was the first one to try to hold off the Phantom Phasm invasion when it came. Unfortunately, she paid the ultimate price for this bravery, her life. Her tower stands, empty and discarded, somewhere in the forests of Quadling country. <clears throat> right places. Give me a brief history of the Emerald City. Brief history. <clears throat> brief history, I should say. <clears throat> How brief can it get, though? The Emerald City. Known as the Jewel of Oz, the Emerald City is the center of Oz in every sense of the term. Located in the precise center of the kingdom, it is the cornerstone of all commerce, culture, and fashion in all of known Oz. The city was built by the Wizard of Oz, who ruled for many years before giving up his throne in favor of the being known as the Scarecrow. The Scarecrow was soon succeeded by Ozma, who rules to this day. <sighs> Okay, last places. Oz. Give me a brief overview of Oz. The briefness, though. <laughs> Kingdom of Oz. The Kingdom of Oz is known all over the world as a place of great riches, resources, magic, and wisdom. It is divided into four countries, with the Emerald City in the middle to bind them. Okay. We're done. Bye. Bye. Uh, we need to go and find General Ginger. Oh, we're almost done with the green quests. She's at the docks. Find General Ginger. Talk to General Ginger is our new quest. Oh, I see a red thingy up here. There was no magic! Yes, there was! Magic was involved in this, and neither of you have a license! Hey! You can't pin this on us! Silver oh, coughing yes, again. It just you sucks. were experimenting with magic, and it destroyed your ship! It's obvious! That's a lie! It's a conspiracy, I'm telling you! Someone's mm, trying to drive expensive. us out of business! Leave the theories to me. I doubt that Bill or Trot would own a cuff like Where this, which means somebody else was here. I, I should show it to General Ginger. Ruggedos. Ruggedo? Consorting with a known enemy of Oz? That was no ordinary explosion. I was just having a drink. Sure you were. You leave him alone! He didn't do anything! 
Are you saying Warning, all goods are subject to inspection. No. Nobody trusts anybody these days. Bus. Now why would we destroy our own Heavy, clunky, and dangerous at all times. Livelihood. Perhaps it was an accident. Lock. Perhaps you didn't Oops, mean to. For the night. Magic is dangerous. That's why it's illegal. We didn't touch no Oops, magic. That's a double negative. That means you did. Under normal circumstances, I would rather cut out my tongue than chat with General Ginger. But 700 emeralds weren't normal circumstances. Hey, General. Still picking on the downtrodden? Petra, what rock did you crawl out from under? Nice to see you, too. I'm busy, Petra. Run along. Ginger isn't gonna talk to me. She's trying to arrest those two sailors. They seem innocent enough. Maybe there's something around here that will prove it. But Bill! Oh, there what is. gives you the right to treat innocent folk this way? Hey, General, take a look at this. What is it now? It was on the edge of the dock. Near the remains of the ship, someone else was there. Bill? Trot? Do you recognize this? No. Nope. I think you're lying. Oh, for Lurleen's sake. It's silver with a ruby inlay. Do you really think it belongs to them? Hmm. Emerald Perhaps fashion. you're right. Okay, you two are off the hook. For now. Get out of here. I'll have more questions for you later. If they were smart, they'd get out of town. But if people were smart, I'd be out of business. <laughs> no. Green quests are done, apparently. So, General Petra, why are you here? And who asked you to interrupt my investigation? Just being a concerned citizen, General. You stopped being concerned the day you quit the Royal Guard. Ginger could always push my buttons. You know why I left. Yeah, I do. How is your brother doing anyway? She's asking for a punch in the nose. But I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. Eh, good. About back then. What about it? I had to leave. You know that, don't you? We were at war. You abandoned your post. There's no excuse for that. Why didn't you help me? That's all I wanted, just a little help. It had nothing to do with us. You weren't the only one with family, Petra. That's why we were fighting, to protect our families. What made your brother more important than anyone else's? Because he was mine. Then we have nothing more to discuss. What happened after I left? We won the war. What do you think? While you were turning over stones, we sent the Phanphasms packing. And here you are now, strong-arming innocent sailors. Shut your mouth, Petra. You're attracting flies. Actually, let's talk about something else. Yeah? No. I need help on a case. Help? I wouldn't come to you if I could go anywhere else, believe me. What makes you think I'd give you the time of day? Talking to Ginger was like swimming upstream. There was only one trick left to try. Here's 20 emeralds. What time is it? You're lucky it's a slow night. You can ask whatever you want, but it doesn't mean I'll answer. Do you know a man named Ansel? That guy? Sure, I know him. What do you want with him? I'm looking for him. <laughs> you deserve each other. Betsy told me you arrested him. I gave chase. That guy is more slippery than a greased fish. He got away? I'm shocked, General. Shocked and disappointed. I thought General Ginger always catches the bad guy. Oh, I'll get him. A guy like that doesn't stay underground for long. What do you know about him? He's smuggling scum, is what he is. Ansel's a smuggler. That's what I said. He tried to hide some stuff at Betsy's place. He won't try that again in a hurry. So, Ansel is a smuggler. That makes things interesting. Anybody with an ear to the ground knows how smuggling works in the Emerald City. If smuggling is involved, Jack Pumpkinhead is pulling the strings. Ooh, Jack Pumpkin's play patch. This farm is the resident of a Mr. Jack Pumpkinhead. Where is he now? Our investigations are continuing. We'll find him. Actually, I have nothing else to ask you. Suits me just fine. About Trot and Bill. What about them? What happened here? It's none of your business, Petra. Looks like the remains of a ship. Brilliant. I can see why you're a detective. Who are Trot and Bill? Just some sailors. They don't concern you. Okay. Who does that cufflink belong to? I don't know, Petra. You just gave it to me. I'll take a look at it later. Never mind. 
See you around, General. Yeah, sure. Okay, bye bye. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Rude. Say the least. All right, pumpkin patch. Here we go. Okay, do we have any buttons here? See, he looks so far away. Why anyone would want to live out here in the sticks is beyond me. Jack knows his pumpkin, so I'll give him that. Two years ago, I tried sneaking in there and nearly got arrested for my trouble. Maybe I'll tr try again someday, but not right now. I'm not poking through the mud. These are new shoes. These don't look too bad. Maybe they'll be future heads one day. His house has grown since the last time I was here. Lol. I don't see any buttons, so... Hey, Jack. Hello, Jack. Long time no see. It's been at least two years, hasn't it? Not long enough. You flatter me. I need to ask you a couple of questions. I haven't done anything, I haven't seen anything, and nobody saw me do anything. Let me ask my questions first. Ask whatever you want, but I just gave my answers. I want to ask you about Ansel. Ansel? Who's that? I'll ask the questions, Jack. Who is Ansel? How should I know? I never heard of the guy. So you say. Where is Ansel, Jack? Come on, spill it. I ain't got nothing to spill, lady. I never heard of Ansel, and I certainly don't know where he is. Curse those expressionless eyes. I can never tell if he's lying or not. No. Ansel was a smuggler, Jack. So? So, you're a smuggler, too. You tried to pin that on me two years ago, Petra. It didn't work then, and it ain't gonna work now. You know what? Forget it. Done and done. No. You've got some nice pumpkins here, Jack. You want some? I can give you a good price. Thanks, but no. So, what's inside those pumpkins? What do you mean? Come on, Jack, play straight with me. We both know what's inside your pumpkins. What? Goopy pumpkin stuff? Seeds? What could you possibly be referring to? Jack Pumpkinhead was always a cool customer. I know he's lying, and he knows that I know. And there isn't a single thing I can do about it. You really like pumpkins, don't you? Well, you work with what you know. So, you've got a head for pumpkins, you'd say. Oh, ha ha, that joke stopped being funny years ago. What would happen if I broke one of those pumpkins open? I'd call up the guard and have you arrested for destroying property. And if I discovered something that shouldn't be there? You want to take that risk again? Be my guest. He's right. I did that very thing two years ago and nearly got arrested for my trouble. I learned two important lessons that day. One. A man smuggling illegal magic goods inside pumpkins wouldn't leave the offending pumpkins out in the open. And two, Jack isn't as stupid as he looks. You know what? I'm sick of talking about pumpkins. Then you're in the wrong place. Leave, why don't you? Tell me about smuggling, Jack. Oh, that old story. Didn't you try this two years ago? You got nothing on me, so beat it. Just humor me. How does a smuggling operation work? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oz is a magical kingdom, but magic artifacts and goods are now illegal. Yeah, ain't that a shame? But most magical artifacts are small. Small enough to fit inside a pumpkin, perhaps? Sure, whatever you say. Now there's a thought. Pumpkins could be the perfect cover for smuggling magic artifacts in and out of the city. Yeah, yeah, you gave me the same song and dance years ago. You here to make up stories, or do you have a real reason for being here? I have a magic artifact I need to smuggle out of the city. <laughs> nice try. I'm here to pick up that illegal magical artifact. Lurline, give me strength. I'm an honest businessman, lady. Clear off. Honest. Sure. And I'm Queen Ozma. Hello. I know you're a smuggler, Jack. Everybody knows. How come you haven't been pinched? Because I haven't done anything. Never mind. Good. See you later, Jack. Well, well. The gump stand is that away. Feel free to use it. Sweet Loreline, I'm tired. I need to head back to the office and relax. Maybe things will make more sense after some shut eye. I'm going nowhere fast. I need to relax and think for a while. I should go back to the office. I'm gonna talk to the odd looking man. Hello again. The voice of greeting is like a leaf on the wind. See you around. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Bye. I want to. I want to get some um... scraps. Hello. I've got some. You do? Oh, thank. You. 
More drawings. Cutter looking very nerdy. Oh, he's so cute. First Betsy Bobbin sketch. She's she reminds me of Jessica Rabbit. First passes on Ginger. Yeah, I kind of like this version of her better than that one. I don't know. Cool. Joy. All right. Let's go home to the office. Oh, hello. <clears throat> oh, hello. How did you get in here? The door was unlocked. No, it wasn't. Well, it was eventually. Listen, Trot, was it? Yeah? Listen, Trot, I've just got one thing to say. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, come on, please. I need your help. I don't help thieves. I wasn't stealing anything. I was just waiting for you. Uh-huh. I want to hire you. I've already got a case. Can't you take on another? That stupid General Ginger is harassing us. I don't know where else to go. Please listen. I can pay. Hmm. An opportunity to bug the General and get paid for it? Maybe she's on the level. All right, kid. You've got five minutes. Thank you. You were at the dock earlier, right? You remember what happened? Yeah, I remember. I thought I got Ginger off your case. For a while, yeah. But she's still not convinced. She's going to arrest Bill. I know it. Can you find out what really happened, please? We can always get another ship, but I can't replace Bill. He's like a big brother. Brother? Why did she have to use that word? All right, Trot. I'll look into it. Thank you! How much will I owe you? Give a discount. My normal rate is 50. Can you manage that? Be very generous, I'll do it for free. Normal rate, my normal rate is 150. Can you manage that? Um, I mean, we are getting the 700 from Dorothy, or are we? But, um, I feel like Petra would go with maybe like 50, but on the other hand, I'm also feeling like, ah, uh, screw it. Um, no. I might be a sap, but I'm not crazy. Lol. My normal rate is 50. Can you manage that? 50? Oh, definitely! Thank you! Where can I find Bill? He's at Rugged Oath. He's not quite himself. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Rugged Oath Pub, one of the classier joints in town, although that's not saying much. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Where can I find you here? if I have any more questions? I'll be by the ship. On the dock. By yourself. At night. I can take care of myself. See you. And thanks. Yeah, don't go out, Petra. Fifty what was I thinking? I Oops. guess I'm a sucker for a kid in trouble. Well, when you think about it, that's no surprise. How old would you be now, William? Older than Trot? Yeah, I get a hold of yourself, Petra. Ooh, we got some purple quests. Investigate. Captain Bill. You've got work to do. Here we have a yellow button. Emerald, Ruby, Topaz. I like that he has a business card planned. <laughs> he was five years old. Alright, we'll take a pause right here and continue in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see ya.